So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Football with Priscilla. I am Priscilla. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, the World Cup has finally come to an end, ladies and gentlemen. One that will go down in history as one of the best World Cups in the world. The best final. We had six goals in the final plus penalties. Like, it just... It was mind-blowing. But I know one name that will come out of this World Cup is Lionel Andreas Messi. Lionel Andreas Messi. The greatest of all time. The greatest footballer to have ever played the game of football. At least in my opinion. Now, today I just want to pay homage to the greatest player of all time, Messi. Now, today I found this. I hope you can see. That's Qatar, right? And then... That says Messi. I hope you can see. But anyway. Yeah, so that says Messi. Now, I just want to talk about this player called Lionel Messi. Before we can even get into um, um, the Argentine versus um, France game, this is not going to be in this video. That game, I will... That, that, that video will be a separate one. But today, I just want to talk about Messi. Now... I discovered Messi, or I learned about Messi in 2008, 2009, I think. Champions League final, Manchester United versus Barcelona. I remember being super excited, and I was like, there is no way Manchester United is losing to Barcelona. I knew about Deco, I knew about Ronaldinho. I had no idea they had a player called Lionel Messi. I did not know. So Messi caught my attention. With how he was playing. I was like, who's this guy? And then when he scored the header, I think that was what Messi marized me, literally. And I remember thinking to myself, who is this guy? I need to follow him so I can hate on him because he's caused us to lose the Champions League. I started following Barcelona, started watching more of La Liga. And then I absolutely fell in love with the player that is called Lionel Messi. It's the vision. It's the, it's his left foot. The man can score goals. The man can create assists. The most complete footballer I have ever seen. Now, I know there have been debates. Is, it, is he better than Pele? Is he better than Maradona? Is he even better than Ronaldo? The funny thing is, Messi has showed in the past 15 years just how much of a beauty he is. Lionel Messi is art, right? He is footballing art. When he touches the ball, when he's running with the ball, when he's dribbling, when he's making an assist, it is pure footballing art. Lionel Messi is footballing art. And I know there's this there's been this debate which clearly has come to an end uh, of the Messi versus Ronaldo. Who's the greatest between the two? Well, clearly, the one who's won the World Cup is the greatest between the two. Now, for me personally, having watched Messi, I it's never been a debate for me. I don't even understand why it's been a debate. This is coming from the biggest one of this is coming from a Manchester United fan. I have been supporting Manchester United ever since I was 10 years old. I was there when Ronaldo came to Manchester United. And even when Ronaldo came to Manchester United, I always preferred Wayne Rooney. I'm not saying Wayne Rooney is better than Ronaldo. I preferred Wayne Rooney. I could see Ronaldo's talent. But for me, Ronaldo just doesn't have the wow factor. Ronaldo, for me, did not give me so many moments where I was just like, no, guys. Like, how? No, Ronaldo, did. like what Ronaldo can do, he's an exceptional player. But a lot of people, if they want, they can reach that level and even go up and beyond. Kylian Mbappe, I feel like is a player who can head in Ronaldo's direction. But for a player to do or to be better than Messi or to do what Messi can do is practically impossible. That is the most gifted footballer I have ever seen. To find another player that can make football look like an art i don't think we're ever going to see that right so this is lionel messi ladies and gentlemen just a few stats for you guys messi has won nine la liga trophies six copa de la rey trophies four champions league to eight spanish super cups 
three European Super Cups, three World Cup for clubs. He has won a fin fin finalissima. I don't know how you pronounce it. He's won one Copa America. And most recently, he has added to his trophy cabinet, which has seven Ballon d'Ors, by the way, a World Cup trophy, the ultimate prize. They said he could not show up on the international stage. They said he was a one club player who could not show up for his country when he needed when he was needed the most, they said he literally always vanished. They said he never had the leadership uh, qualities. They said he didn't have the winning mentality. They said Messi in big games becomes a ghost. He ghosts his team. Well, this tournament, Qatar 2022, has literally shown us Lionel Messi stepping up, stepping up sorry, as a leader from the first game when they lost against Saudi Arabia to the last game when he stepped up to shoot the penalty that was in the first half, when he stepped up to score um, a goal that that allowed Argentina to go 3-2 up in the extra time to, to scoring another penalty in the penalty shoot-up where he was the first person to step up. The amount of pressure that Lionel Messi has gone through the years. I remember the Argentines laughing at Messi, calling him all sorts of names, right? Because he was doing well for Barcelona, but not well for Argentina, which is understandable, Right? But Messi won the Copa America and everyone was like, oh wait, what is this guy doing? He's showing up internationally. Then people were like, no, it's just the Copa America. They're playing, playing against themselves. Surely he can't do it on the grand stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Lionel Messi has done it on the grand stage. There is no footballer. There will never be any footballer like him. The assists, the way he's involved, for me... Whenever people ask me, like, Priscilla, why do you prefer Messi to Ronaldo? Like I said, nothing. We take nothing away from Cristiano Ronaldo. The amount of goals. He's a mentality monster. He, he has worked hard to even come close to a player that is as gifted, literally alien, like Lionel Messi. So we don't take that away from Ronaldo. To at least try and, like, win how many Ballon d'Ors? Five? It's, it's not easy, right? But for me, we've seen it with Manchester United. We've seen it with Portugal. Sorry, I have a flu. Um, Ronaldo is a player who needs service. Cut off service from Ronaldo and you've cut Ronaldo off. Totally, right? We saw it at Manchester United. In the previous videos, Manchester United videos, I have been saying that. We saw with um, Portugal as well. As long as they were not servicing Ronaldo, he wasn't part of the game. Now, we bring in Lionel Messi. If you go and watch all the games from the Saudi Arabia game to the final versus France, Messi has been involved with everything that is Argentina. He was dropping deep and he was being the creative midfielder. He was being the number 10 and he was actually scoring goals. For me, Messi is the most complete footballer. Dribbles, can score, can create assists in one player. That is for me why I adore technical footballers. People love footballers that are good at pace. That's you. For me, I love footballers that have a vision. The assists are what make me go like, okay, this is an absolute beauty of a footballer. That's me. And Messi incorporates that and more. So from a Man United fan, who obviously is supposed to join the bandwagon of Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player. I saw Lionel Messi and I was like, bruh, there is no debate. This guy literally is one in a million. He is the greatest footballer ever. And to win two, is it golden balls? Um, No player has ever done what he has done. The man is literally breaking records and he's still going to come and continue playing football. And I think we're all happy that he said he's not retiring. A lot of people are like, dude, he's won everything. Like, literally retire. Hell no. I still want to see Messi create magic. I remember watching a video where Peter Jury was like, um, I don't know if it was Peter Jury, but I don't know who. 
if it was Ray Hudson, I don't know. But it was a Barcelona game. And Messi, I don't know, had scored a hat trick. And he scored a free kick. And the commentator was like, we are literally watching the greatest footballer ever at the absolute peak of his powers. I think that is when he has scored 91 goals in a calendar year. That is a record that is yet to be broken. I see Haaland trying to break it, but you never know. So for me, like guys, I just wanted to pay homage to Lionel Messi. For me, the greatest footballer. I have seen art come alive in football and I've seen it in Lionel Messi. Personally, he's made me enjoy football. The moments when me and my sister, who are absolute Messi fans, watching Barcelona, watching the World Cup, watching PSG, when um, the run he did was it against Croatia, when when he outran the defender, created the assist for Alvarez. My sister and I were just like, no, guys, like that's messy for me. A player who who when I'm watching, I'm always like, how? No, like it's just he's a delight, an absolute delight, an absolute beauty. So yeah. That's all I wanted to say in this particular video. Like I said, I'm not going to get into the intricacies, but I just want to talk about the greatest footballer of all time, Lionel Messi. The debate is officially over, ladies and gentlemen. If anyone comes up at you and says, no, the debate is still on, don't even respond. Don't even start debating. Just send them a picture of Lionel Messi holding the World Cup trophy. And that's it. So that's the video I had for you guys today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe.